we forget what we do. A lady who was here tonight, she has forgotten. About two or three months ago, she said to me, look how fat I'm getting, bursting out of my clothes. I said, you aren't too fat at all. Then she said, I want to be thin. I said, well, you are thin. You are as thin as you want to be, or even thinner. And she left. She returned tonight. She said, look, I can't stand it, how thin I am. I said, do you recall that two months ago, or maybe three months ago, you said to me how fat you are? And I couldn't say it, but to you it was fat, and you despise yourself for the fatness. And these are the words of Blake. Oh, what have I said? What have I done? Oh, all-powerful human words. All-powerful human words. Yes, because man is God. God's word cannot be turned unto him void. It must accomplish that which he sent it to accomplish. It must actually fulfill its purpose. For well, God is man. And man, in his idle moments, makes all kinds of statements then he reaps it and he doesn't recognize his own harvest. So she comes back and she's thin. Yes, she is thin. Obviously very thin. For a small little lady, it is quite a loss of weight. But she herself put it into, I would say, into the rhythm that brought about this loss of weight. You can do it with anything in this world. 